Okay, making a little recording uh, video. Hopefully it turns out okay. Showing what I've got so far in a uh, procedurally generated voxel chunk world or whatever you want to call it. Um, in my code right now, CX, that's the size of the chunk, uh, which right now I've got it set at 512 by 512 by 512. Um, uh, where we are, K calc 512 times 512 times 512 equals 134,217,728 cubic inches. 134,217,728 positions. Uh, this describes the uh, when it's done. It's going to break down the world into manageable sized chunks and it's going to only render out what you can actually see via the camera. But as of right now, I've got it set up to where the one chunk is 512 cubed, which is 134 million cube locations. It, it looks at each cube, sees whether or not it can be seen from the outside, kind of like Minecraft. You know, you remove a chunk, hey, there's dirt underneath it. And if it can, then it will uh, go ahead and send out the the uh, mesh information to the renderer. Uh, I've also got a noise, um, some noise generation in there. Anyway, on to uh, what it does when you drag it over, because it's a blueprintable thing right now. Um, there's not a lot that you can do with it, but when I get done, you'll be able to change the size, change the chunk size, and stuff of that nature you know uh, you'll be able to uh, come up with your own seed or whatever right now the seed is just based on time but coming over just dragging this over one two three three seconds and it has gone through that many locations and uploaded all of this information to the Unreal Engine. That is a ton. Uh, let's see here. Where's wireframe? There's wireframe. It did that. That that's all procedural. And uh, like I said, when I get done with it. It's only going to render out what you can see, so the stuff off to the side here will not be visible. But anyway, that's just a quick demo. Um, actually, give me a moment, and uh, if you'll bear with me. Uh, I've still got some, some more work to do on the UVs, just for this example. That way it'll uh, apply the correct material, or portion of the material to each block I've only got it set up for the grass just so I can have something besides uh, besides gray to look at um, hold on one moment delete for my uh, intents and purposes with this I mean the the chunks whenever uh, this is done are going to be quite a bit smaller uh, they're going to be uh, 16 in size or so, or 16 cubed in size. Bear with me just a moment. And it uh, shouldn't take that long to compile here. I mean, it's, it's very, it's, it's, oh, it's so small. All right, we've got a few warnings. That's fine. We got to go through and uh, clean that up just for my benefit. But now you can see how quick that is. Uh, that's one chunk, and that's the size of the chunks that are going to get rendered rendered via the code. You know, if it can see it, it'll go ahead and figure that chunk out. Throw that up there. I mean, it's uh, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty awesome stuff, but um, I love this. Ooh, look, it made some trees. How do you like that? That's pretty cool too. 
Yeah, gotta love it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Appreciate it.